You and I have sat down before and you're saying, don't blame Ashley Madison for cheating. It's a marketplace. Buyers and sellers, we're just here to connect them. But don't you think you promote cheating? You make it a lot more accessible for those who are just thinking about it? Well, I don't know that it needs any promotion, right? I think we, we do a good job of pursuing it all our own. I think what I do is try and perfect the affair. It does have collateral damage sometimes. You know, you talked earlier about secondhand smoke. A single person on a single dating site wants no part of an affair. So bringing two like-minded people together, I think that's been the secret sauce behind Ashley Madison. Dan, is, is uh, Noel providing the world a service, <laughs> connecting, quote-unquote, buyers and sellers? So, you know, in the, in the earlier segment, I mentioned that if you buy somebody a beer and a sandwich, they'll start uh, liking you more. I have to confess that Noel has bought me a, a really good dinner at some point in Toronto. So and you I, like him more? And I, I well, I, how could you not like him? No, but... Um, so, so I, have, I have some bias, plus uh, he gave us lots of data to look at uh, some of the questions that Ashley Madison are coming. I, I actually met Noel because we were doing, we're doing a movie on, on dishonesty and trying to understand this uh, phenomena. So we've interviewed insider trading and accounting frauds, but also some people that create uh, markets. And Noel brought uh, lots of interesting questions to, to the table in this, in this case. Um, including the, the the question of how long should marriages last? But back to this back to this issue of is he creating a marketplace? I think he well, is. He is, but I is think he, he is. But is he providing a service? Remember, we talked earlier yeah. about good and bad and what's fair and what's unfair. That's right. And also, when it comes to dishonesty, it's only dishonest if you lie to your husband or if you lie to your wife. That's right. So there's no question that this is a, a market for dishonesty. This is not a market <laughs> where. Uh, we pro uh, Noel is providing uh, kind of mechanisms for people to uh, have open marriages. This, right? is, not open e this is not eHarmony. Well, there's also a lot of dishonesty in eHarmony. But, but if you think about uh, open marriages, open marriages, uh, nobody's lying to their spouse. In this, in this environment, uh, people are lying to their spouse. And I think there's a question of whether this is encouraging more of this behavior or not. And I suspect it is. And I suspect it's encouraging more behavior because it seems more socially acceptable. You go, there's a big site, you think lots of people are part of this. In fact, it's amazing how many people are part of this. I think if I remember the numbers, like 25 million uh, members, that, that's a lot, of, a lot of numbers. It basically gives you social proof. Hey, everybody else is doing it. It must be, it must be okay. I think the question is, that interests me is whether it's increasing happiness. Mm. Right? So, um, one of the people we interviewed for this movie, uh, she's a, a user of one of the, 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 the sites, and she said in her mind, her real dishonesty is her life with her regular husband. Because that relationship is just incredibly dysfunctional and in that's incredibly the living the lie part of wow. it. That's, that's what that's wow. what's her opinion. Now it's not representative of everybody, but that's it. By the way, do you know what's the best predictor of the ratio between men and women? on Ashley Madison. What do you think is the best predictor of the ratio? So some, some places there's more men than women, sometimes there's more women than men. What do you think predicts? Uh, I don't know, what's the answer? Equality in salaries. So in places where men have more power, the ratio of men to women is very, there are many more men than women, but as salaries become more equal, the number of men and women become more similar, which tells so, you that, that women one of the barriers for women so to join this So alpha is the side, driver? It's, the driver is uh, basically rate inequality of salary. Noel, so if, when you're prospecting for new markets for Ashley Madison, is that something that you look for, income equality? Absolutely. The first foreign expansion we did outside of America was into Australia. When we looked at Australia, it was fascinating, right? Female prime minister, the wealthiest woman in the world that lives in Australia. Uh, um, universities have a greater female population. Professions have more women at higher income earnings. So we thought that was a great marketplace to address because Dan is exactly right. The more that we remove the speed bumps that we put in front of female infidelity, which is we don't paint them with scarlet letters, we don't take away their children, for example, if we find out they've been unfaithful, those are all behavior patterns we use to do we remove them and the more we give them the economic freedom that if their relationship did break down they could still take care of themselves and their family it turns out the more likely they are to be unfaithful what about our how, what about how is the economy affected who's participating in Ashley Madison does the down market mean more people want to play because it's free to have sex 
Yeah, you know what ends up happening in a down market, let's call it, is a few things. One, divorce becomes very tricky, right? You might not be able to value your home and, and move on with your life, pay a divorce attorney, do all those kinds of things. And so people are still technically married, but really they've lost uh, the connection. And so they look to pursue outside relationships. And so we do incredibly well in that. But also, you know, the majority of marital discord does tend to center around home economics. And so when you need your partner the most, say you've lost your job, you don't always get them the most, right? You get more concern and worry. And so you look for comfort in a bunch of places. It turns out you sometimes look for comfort in the arms of another. And so we are almost not just a recession-proof business, but a recession growth business. Dan, Noel just mentioned that stigmatizing adultery uh, has a negative effect on, on women. What about, we talked earlier about banning junk food. What about banning something like uh, Ashley Madison? He tried to open up in Singapore, right? Singapore said, no, thank you. Um, what effect does that have? So, so look, no we, thank we, you to Ashley Madison, but they have no problem having prostitutes. So, so I think, I think the, the, for me the question is really about happiness and how do we get people to be happy in the long term. And I think if you think about junk food, I think junk food gives short term happiness at the expense of uh, long term misery, right? So I think there's a bad trade off. And I think if you showed somebody and said, this is a decision somebody else is doing, or this is the right decision. I think infidelity is much more much more complex than that. Um, I, I think that lots, uh, lots of people are in relationships that they really are having uh, no sexual gratification and no happiness on that aspects of life. And the question is, should they stay in this, in this relationship or not? And breaking up is one uh, possibility with lots of, lots of cost. And stepping out of the relationship is another possibility. And here's the thing about honesty. Um, honesty in most things in life is a trade-off with other values and it's really hard to figure out how you trade off honesty with, with other values so with um, honey you look great in that dress that's that's a trade-off of honesty with with another but, value. but honey you look great in that dress is often from a voice that you can't hear anymore your spouse no is one of the draws of Ashley Madison that oxytocin high you get when the email comes through because for those who are living in the monotony of monogamy they miss that high and Ashley Madison provides just that you know, it's fascinating. I think you're right on the money. When we did some research with the University of California, that's what they were looking at, what they called the female monogamy gap. What is motivating women to increase the rates of infidelity? Everyone kind of acknowledges that's what's really driving this, right? Ma male infidelity has been kind of static, or at least in existence since time immemorial. It's female infidelity that's gone, and gone, gone hand in hand with the internet growth. And it turns out it, it, it's all about that. It's being an object of desire. Women want to rekindle that notion they felt when they were being proposed to, when they were being flattered, when their life was really great. That was the happiest time. It doesn't happen anymore. And so getting that attention, you sign up to Ashley Madison, it doesn't matter what city you're in, how much you weigh, how old you are, having a dozen people be interested in meeting with you is part of that. And so yes, in, in, I do in, think that's the siren that's in, calling. In your research, maybe traditionally men do want to sleep around, they want to get laid all the time, but women, is it about desire? Do they actually want to have sex with other people or do they just want to be wanted? Do they want that desire factor fulfilled? No, they, they do want intimacy, but they use the word passion a lot more than they use the word sex, right? Which clearly means sex plus something, right? Uh, it's hard for them to find exactly what that is. It starts with being an object of desire. It tends to end up in a bed. It does. But, it, you know, 10% of the female users sign up saying they just want something digital, something cyber, and almost 50% of them will change that within the first few days. And so you see a lot of behavior patterns that lead people to realize that it becomes like an entry point. The entry point is signing up to the service and thinking about it. But once you connect with somebody that does seem to understand you, does want to pay attention to you, you're willing to take that to the next level. Uh, Noel, quickly, Dan talks about the importance of honesty. Do you encourage your customers to be honest with their spouses about what they're doing? Oh, come on. No, I, I, ironically, the honesty part of Ashley Masson is within the platform. You know, dating, online dating tends to be a fairly dishonest place, as Dan can attest to. Ironically, Ashley Masson is one of the more honest places. This is the place where people <laughs> tend to post realistic photos, tell their same age, because they're taking a huge risk as it is. They don't want to then meet somebody and then find out, oh, this is going to blow up in their face. And so it's ironic, but that's what happens on Ashley Masson.